Now let's take a look at a really cool feature in ActionScript 3.0. So this will be nice if you're migrating from ActionScript 2.0 and you're frustrated with a few things. In ActionScript 2.0, if you wanted to create an empty movie clip, you have to call the create empty movie clip method of the movie clip class. If you wanted to drag a symbol out of the library at runtime, you'd have to use attach movie. You have to know the parameters that you're going to pass in. Have you ever thought wouldn't it be nice if I could create a new movie clip instance just like I create a new instance of any other symbol? Well, in ActionScript 3.0, you can. And in this movie, we'll talk about how to do it. So I'm in a blank Flash document in Flash CS3. It's an ActionScript 3.0 file. And I got a movie clip symbol in the library called Face. And you can actually create your own if you want. What, name it whatever you want. Put whatever art in there. It's only one frame, so it's nothing special except for my sweet art. Let's first take a look at using Create Empty Movie Clip in ActionScript 3.0. It's completely different. Click on the first keyframe or the layer one and open up the Actions panel. On the PC, it's F9. On the Mac, it's Option F9. And then just type var, then a space, my underscore MC colon movie clip, space equals space, new space movie clip open parenthesis, close parenthesis, semicolon. And you might have always wished in your heart that you'd be able to create an empty movie clip just by doing this. Well guess what folks, we just created an empty movie clip. This is how you do it in ActionScript 3.0. Pretty cool, huh? Since we can't really see the evidence of that on the stage, let's use the same principle to bring a movie clip out of the library at runtime. So let's erase this code select it, delete it, close the actions panel and then I'm going to right click or control click on the Mac the face symbol in the library and yours can be called whatever you want just make sure it's a movie clip select linkage and then check the export for action script box and what this does is it creates an action script file or an action script class for this particular movie clip so I create an empty movie clip calling new movie clip and when I use export for action script, Flash creates a new class, which in this case is called Face. So I'll actually just create a new instance of the Face class to work with this symbol and create instances at runtime. Notice the text field underneath the base class. It says flash.display.movieclip. And that's where you define what the base class of your symbol is. In this case, all I'm doing is extending the movie clip class, and so I'm just going to accept all the default settings and then click OK. When you click OK, a little dialog box comes up that tells you that Flash is going to create an action script file for this face class we just created. And I'm just going to click OK. And that's almost all you have to do to bring a library symbol out at runtime, like you when you use attached movie. Let's go back to the actions panel. So click on the first keyframe of the actions layer and F9 or Option F9 to open up the Actions panel. Then type var and space face underscore MC colon. And for the data type, we won't put movie clip because we created a new class for our face movie clip in the library. So the data type will actually be face with a capital F. Then type space equals space, new space face with a capital F. Open and close parenthesis and then a semicolon. So this code created a new instance of the face class, which is that symbol in our library, and it's called face underscore MC. Pretty simple, right? If you tested the movie right now, you wouldn't see the face on the stage. You actually have to do one more step. Another new feature in ActionScript 3.0 is that each visual object, including the timeline, has something called the display list. And that's just a list of the visual objects within that particular object. So the timeline has a display list that holds any visual objects. So we need to add this face underscore MC to the main timeline's display list. So go to the next line in your code and type add and then child with a capital C. Open parenthesis. And add child is the name of the method that adds an object or an instance to the display list. So we're adding something to the main timeline's display list and we just pass that in through the parentheses. So type face underscore MC, close parenthesis, and then a semicolon. And folks, that is all you have to do. Press Control Enter or Command Return on the Mac to test the movie. And you have successfully brought 
a symbol out of the library at runtime using two lines of code that are extremely simple. So to recap, ActionScript 3.0 is awesome. They standardize creating a new instance of any class, and so you just use new keyword and you can create a new instance of any class.